What is the multi-agent design pattern? When is a good time to use multiple AI agents instead of one? And when is, what kind of control and visibility do we have when working with multiple agents? We're going to answer these questions in the eighth lesson of the AI Agents for Beginners course. In this course, we take you from concept to code, covering some of the fundamentals of building AI agents. And this is a short video that follows along with the written lesson, including translations and code samples that you can find at the link above and below this video. To put it simply, the multi-agent design pattern is where we have multiple AI agents working together to complete a common goal or task. But the real question is how exactly do the AI agents do that? And there are different design patterns that apply depending on the goal. There is group chat where just like a group chat with your friends and colleagues, every message in the chat is broadcasted to each agent. And depending on the contents of that message, a group chat manager, typically another AI agent will select the appropriate AI agent to handle performing the task. For example, you might build an airline customer service application where there are separate agents that handle booking or customer complaints or questions about flight status. A customer could type their message into the chat and there would be a task request that would be routed to the proper agent. There may be scenarios where an AI agent needs information from another AI agent before completing its task. And this is called a handoff pattern, where there is an AI agent completing each step in a defined workflow before handing it off to the next. And lastly, there are cases where you want each AI agent in your application to perform some task. And this is called collaborative filtering. In this design pattern, each agent acts as a specialist in some task or area and responds to that task in their own unique way. And this is great when performing some type of analysis where you want different inputs or perspectives on some data. And as you can see, the multi-agent design patterns cover a wide spread of different use cases. But let's really see how it works by heading over to our code editor. Okay, so now we're in our code editor looking at the chapter eight or lesson eight example. Again, this code sample is available at the GitHub, above, GitHub repo above, the link above and below this video. In this scenario, we're actually going to have two agents, one kind of producing content or writing content and another agent reviewing that content. So this is kind of uh, the reviewer checker pattern, or again, utilizing multiple agents to produce a better result. In this case, we're going to have one reviewer agent, which is the concierge. And we've given specific instructions to the concierge in terms of uh, being able to fo both focus on uh, recommending, recommending non-touristy experiences for travel. So we want kind of this local and authentic experience uh, that the, the, a good concierge should provide, right? And then we're also going to make sure that uh, it doesn't actually, uh, you know, provide any insights. Uh, I mean, it also just only provides insights on recommendations of improving that suggestion, but doesn't provide a specific example. So we don't want the, you know, uh, the concierge should just make new examples. And we because what we would want to happen is we have this other agent, which is the front desk agent, and we've also given it kind of instructions to provide one single recommendation per response. So again, allowing the concierge to review that and make any suggestions, uh, but not new recommendations. But we also then want the uh, front desk engine to consider those suggestions and refine uh, that idea that they have. So in this case, uh, we're going to then uh, what might be new with multiple, multiple agents here is that we have this termination function. And this is going to be a function that we want to essentially uh, terminate the, the interactions between the agents. In this case, we have this, we've defined that this is going to be when the concierge has given um, approval of the most recent response. So the, of the most recent suggestion uh, that the front desk, when it meets their standards in terms of having a local and authentic experience. And then we also have the selection process, which is where we're going to define basically how this conversation will take place. So we're going to have that, you know, each person takes a turn in the next conversation. 
Uh, we're only going to choose from these participants. Again, the reviewer, and the, which is the concierge, and the front desk. And then we've also defined what's going to happen. You know, the user is going to have an input or a question. It's going to go first to the front desk. Then the front desk is going to reply. Then it's a reviewer's turn to uh, do their instructions, which is going to review the front desk suggestions. After that, uh, they're going to provide some feedback. And then it's up to the front desk to then uh, suggest something new. So in this case, then we want to go and look at the, what this output will look like. And again, we have this input. And this person would like to go to Paris. Uh, it was a general question. And then the front desk is going to recommend the Louvre Museum. The Louvre is uh, you know, a great, great museum. And, and the concierge recognizes that. It says, uh, you know, this is undeniably a world-renowned site. But it's also one of the most popular tourist destinations. Again, we want to give a very local and authentic experience, something kind of off the beaten trail in terms of uh, suggestions. So go suggesting a lesser known museum or local art gallery. So this is kind of again giving feedback to the front desk. Uh, and then the uh, front desk comes back, the front desk agents says, visit the Musée de l'Orange uh, for an intimate experience with Monet's uh, water lilies. So great, the concierge is approved, which then that terminates our um, conversations because now it meets the uh, kind of criteria for the concierge. And then we can see that this is complete, is true. So this is just one uh, type of pattern that we will can apply to in terms of using multiple agents. Uh, you can see here now the kind of power between not just having one agent make suggestions and maybe having, you know, in hoping the user makes feedback, but even using an agent to refine those uh, results and giving back a better suggestion. So that was the end of lesson eight, or in terms of multiple agents. We'll see you in lesson nine.